Plumbing is defined as the art and science of installing pipe, fixtures, and other apparatus to convey and supply water in buildings and to dispose and discharge waste water and other liquids, gases, and other substances out of buildings in a safe, orderly, healthy, and sanitary way to ensure the health and sanitation of life and property. In prehistoric time of a thousand years ago, man left traces of plumbing works. These primitive water supply and water disposal methods offer proof that even early man realizes the importance of plumbing. Indeed, these crude devices were considered as the forerunner of modern-day plumbing. The concept and importance of plumbing, however, became more defined and appreciated only during the Greco-Roman civilization. The Roman who considered daily bathing as a must elevated bathing to the level of daily ritual. Their almost fanatic demand for a constant supply of clean water found its expression in the ingenuity of the new famous Roman aqueduct, a water system that continuously challenged the skills of the present crops of engineers. The word plumber is a title given to a person who is skilled in the field of sanitation. It was delivered from the ancient Roman word plumbarius, which was taken from the Latin word plumbum. Plumbarius refers to an individual who worked in the sanitary field of ancient Rome. Plumbum, on the other hand, meant lead, a metal used as plumbing materials by the Romans, preferred for its twin properties of malleability and resistant to acid. The famous Goth invasion that brought about the disintegration and eventual collapse of the Roman Empire hindered European progress in the field of plumbing and sanitation. It was only during the Renaissance period when Europe was plagued with epidemics, disseminating almost a quarter of the population that interest in sanitation or plumbing was again revived. In the 17th century, the English Parliament passed the first plumbing apprentice law. France followed suit in the 18th century when it embarked in the building of water service facilities. The United States, however, was a little slow to adapt the plumbing movement that was then sweeping the European continent because the U.S. government concentrated its effort in agricultural pursuit. Plumbing in the Philippines Before the decades of 40s, Household plumbing installation was considered as a luxury item available only to the upper crust of the society. Majority of the population, aside from not being able to afford plumbing installation in their homes, were still unaware of the importance of sanitation facilities in the form of an efficient water supply and waste disposal system. Most of the household, particularly in the rural areas, were adopting the indigenous and ingenious method of water supply and waste disposal, unmindful of the ill effect brought by the poor sanitation. Water supply. In the absence of an efficient water supply and distribution system, water was provided through abundant rainfall, spring, wells, rivers, or creeks, conveyed either through improvised bamboo pipes or carried either by man himself or through animal drone carts or sled and were stored in an earthen jars, wooden or bamboo containers and the like. In those times, water was considered fit for consumption as long as it was visibly clear. There was no available means to test the water for purity and free from disease causing organism. As a result, not a few died or were afflicted with digestive disorders and those ailing were brought to quack doctors who usually diagnosed the disease to be caused by evil spirit. Waste Disposal Majority of the household who cannot afford plumbing installation in their homes availed of any possible means of convenience for their waste disposal. Some excreted in the rivers, seizures, creeks, or any waterways behind trees, bushes, or any secluded place as long as during the times excreted, their private parts were not seen in public. Early attempts of promoting plumbing and sanitary waste disposals were accepted by a few who could afford. 
In the rural areas, however, constructed toilets were merely excavated pits covered with coconut trunks, bamboos, or any suitable materials provided with a slot where the users shoot his excretion. And some others were constructed along riverside where one would see his excretion splashing under water below. Those early sewage disposal practices were not only harmful to human health, but also to the government, particularly to the more populated areas. Indeed, it did not take long for a burgeoning urban population to realize the importance of sanitation facilities in the form of an efficient water supply and sewage disposal system. In the rural areas, however, it took another decade and more government pruding to encourage the population to adopt the sanitary water supply and waste disposal system. Due to the imminent outbreak of epidemic brought about by the worsening and sanitary conditions prevailing, certain sectors of the society and the government introduced programs to address the situation. Massive education on proper sanitation was initiated. Water supply systems were constructed in some urban areas. Model toilets were built. Low-cost concrete water seal closet was introduced to the rural residents, backed up by the local ordinances, requiring every residence to have a sanitary comfort room with a proper sewage disposal system known as septic tank. Objectives of Plumbing Plumbing has two main objectives. First is to supply water to different parts of the building. Second is to remove and discharge human waste and other substances out of building into the public sewer or septic tank. Conditions of an effective water supply in buildings. First, to provide sufficient amount of water to supply each fixture. Second is to prevent backflow of used water into the water supply system. The drainage system should accomplish the following. First is the fast removal of waste with the minimal probability of leakage and stoppage of drains. Second is to prevent the entry of house vermin and obnoxious gases into the house from the piping system. Mandatory requirement for a drainage system. All plumbing design and installations are governed by a set of rules and limitations prescribed by the National Plumbing Code, which provides that all drainage system must conform with the set of requirement enumerated as follows. 1. That all pipe joints must be well fitted and tightly connected with each other to prevent leakage of gas and liquid. 2. That all drainage pipe should be graded or inclined properly for a downward gravity flow of water towards the main sewer line or the septic tank. 3. That the drainage pipe should be provided with adequate cleanout accessible for repair in case of a stoppage. 4. That the drainage system must be provided with ventilation pipe that will convey gases to the atmosphere where it can do no harm to human health. 5. That except for water closet, each fixture shall be provided with suitable traps that will prevent backflow of gases. 6. That the drainage system must be vented to avoid siphonage or backflow of the water seal. Plumbing Design Unlimited The design and layout of a plumbing system is governed by a set of rules promulgated by the National Plumbing Code. The code, however, does not impose a fixed standard design of the piping layout, more particularly the placing and location of the various plumbing fixtures. And to think of the unlimited design of these fixtures goes with it the different type of plumbing system design. While we subscribe to the health and safety requirement prescribed by the National Plumbing Code, Unlimited design are to be expected from various designers. The routing of the entire plumbing, the location of the outlets, and clean out, plus other related installation are subject to considerable freedom 
of choice in the drainage system. To anyone, the word plumbing connotes fixtures and piping installations that will supply water and dispose waste in various forms. Waste is classified into two types. First is solid waste that is being discharged by a water closet and liquid waste that are coming from various fixtures. These types of waste are also conveyed and disposed of by two types of drainage piping. The first one is the soil pipe and the second one is the waste pipe. Any pipe that conveys waste from various fixtures other than water closet is called waste pipe. And those pipe that conveys waste coming from water closet is called soil pipe. Unlike the waste pipe that is exclusively to receive discharge coming from the fixtures only, the soil pipe can accept both waste from the water closet and the fixtures. The drainage installation is sometimes referred to as DWV, which means D for drainage of solid waste, W for waste coming from various fixtures other than water closet, V refers to the ventilation of the piping system. The study of drainage system as a whole consisting of various forms of waste and vent correlation forming one unit system is somewhat difficult to comprehend. It is because of strange terminologies used, plus the many complex considerations brought upon by the effect of nature. Indeed, plumbing terminologies, even if defined, would be difficult to understand unless visualized in actual pipeline installations. To begin with the study of drainage system, an isometric drawing of pipe installation was presented in figure 1 to 1 and figure 1 to 2. For the familiarization of the various part of the plumbing's unit system. Definition of terms Air gap An air gap in a water supply system is the unobstructed vertical distance through the free atmosphere between the lowest opening from any pipe or faucet supplying water to a tank, plumbing fixture, or any device and the flood level rim of the receptacle. Backflow is the flow of water or other liquid mixture or substances into the distributing pipes of a potable supply of water from any source other than its intended source. Back siphonage refers to the backflow of used contaminated or polluted water from a plumbing fixture or vessel into a water supply pipe due to a negative pressure in such pipe. Battery of fixture refers to any group of two or more similar adjacent fixtures which discharges into a common horizontal waste pipe or soil branch. PIB is a synonymous with faucet, cock, tap, plug, etc. The word faucet is preferred. Blind flange, a flange that closes the end of a pipe. There is no opening for the passage of water. Blow off, a controlled outlet on a pipeline used to discharge water. Branch, is any part of piping system other than the main riser or stock. Branch interval, is the length of a soil or waste stock corresponding in general to a story height, but in no case less than 2.4 meters, within which the horizontal branches from one floor or story of a building are connected to the stock. Branch vent is a vent connecting one or more individual vent into a vent stock or stock vent. Cocking is plugging an opening with oakum lead or other materials that are pounded into the place or opening. Circuit vent is a branch vent that serves two or more traps and extend from the front of the last fixture